Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about what's missing from modern hypertrophy or muscle building. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, I posted on this on Instagram. It's something that's extremely important, but in the modern landscape of lifting, muscle building, hypertrophy, it's something that's been completely lost something that you never hear discussed. There are a few voices that are talking about it. Uh, I saw uh, Sean, Nalaw Sean Nalawani talking about it this week, or excuse me, this weekend rather on, uh, on Instagram, but you don't hear people talking about it much anymore. We've developed all these modern constructs. We've developed all this focus on RPE and uh, you know other things. We have so many different types of programs, but this fundamental, is missing and what i'm about to talk about if you start to incorporate this into your training you're going to see you're going to experience substantially better results now i'm not going to guarantee it i'm not going to be so brash but if you learn to start incorporating this in your training you're going to see results now <clears throat> excuse me before i dive into it i want to tell you how i uh, how I implement this with my clients. I don't implement this training tool, this training approach on every set. Uh, most people that come to me are not used to this degree of intensity. They're not used to training this hard. So we kind of dip into the pool a little bit. What we do is we do this on about 50% of sets. From there, this is what I would encourage you guys to do. And I'm gonna get into it in just a second, so be patient. I would encourage you to start using it on about 50% of your sets. Uh, from there, if you want to evolve it or start to incorporate it into more sets, fine. But don't jump into the deep end of the pool. Give yourself a couple months to adjust to this type of approach. Now, before I, uh, one more thing before I get into it. This has been the cornerstone of my coaching, uh, of, of my workouts, of my articles, even my book, Massive Iron for the last 12 to 15 years. The statement I'm about to say, I probably said a thousand times on this channel, but not much in this past year. Here it goes. Here's the tip. Here's the meat. All right. Push a set for as many quality reps as possible. Stop that set when you feel like you might fail on the next rep or when your form starts to break down. So this is not training to failure. This is not training to failure. This is what I would call massive failure, right? This is, this is my approach. We're practicing safe sets. We're pushing a set hard. We're pushing a set for as many reps as we can, but we stop when we feel like we might fail on the next rep or when we feel form is breaking down. Now the form breaking down part is more crucial for things like squats and deadlifts, right? If your form's, if your form's breaking down, it's time to abort mission. On things like barbell rows or whatever, far more forgiving exercises, right? You can notice a decrease in speed, but it's not going to punish your body. Now, this is just a basic platform, right? You can go, it, it, when you're at the point where form is breaking down, you know, this is a general rule of when to stop. But obviously, there are some cases when you could push further, like on barbell curls, you could do a little bit. A couple extra reps, <clears throat> you know, with a little bit of English. Same with barbell rows. But in general, we want to stop a set when we feel like form is breaking down or when we feel like we're going to fail on the next rep. So the question is, how do I know if I'm going to fail on the next rep, right? How do I know if I'm going to fail? Well, we have to start being aware of bar, of bar speed. Watch your bench sets when you're, this is a really good idea to, uh, you know, this is a really good thing to do. You really start to grasp the idea or concept of bar speed. Watch your bar speed on bench press. Film it, film a couple sets that are taken for as many reps as possible. Notice on that last rep, generally, not in every case, because there are some cases where I see a sloppy, slow rep and then somebody gets their crap together and they're back on track. But general, that last rep is going to be a little bit slower than than normal. Sometimes it's an all-out grinder. Sometimes there's just a little bit of difference in bar speed. But I will tell you, when you reach that point where bar speed is slowing down, 
you're pretty much going to fail on the next rep. So that's a good starting point with how to grasp if you're in the right place. So this tip alone is a complete game changer to your training and something not a lot of people are used to doing. It's kind of lost in the modern bodybuilding landscape. But if you start to incorporate it in your training, progression is going to be more intuitive. It's going to be more auto-regulated. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do I mean by that? Let's say you do eight reps on bench today using this approach on a set, pushing a set for max safe reps. And then next time you do the same thing, well, you're not stopping at an RPE. You're not stopping at a certain rep range. You're pushing a set for as many reps as you can. So next week you might get nine. Next week you might get 10 or 11. Auto-regulated progression. And when you, you hit like a progression indicator, like 10 or 11 reps, then it's time to add weight, whatever that arbitrary number is. So give this a try. Let me know what you think. Let me know right now how many sets you're pushing for max safe reps. And if you've implemented the information in my book, Massive Iron. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.